Welcome to Science on Location. Our focus today is communication. The metro park that we are visiting today is Glacier Ridge and that is located in Plain City, Ohio. Glacier Ridge was named for the glacial debris left behind when the glaciers retreated some 12,000 to 17,000 years ago. Much of the 1,037 acre park was once covered with farmland. Metro Parks has transformed the once farmed area back to its original state by restoring hundreds of acres of woodlands, prairies, and wetlands. This park has a 180 acre Honda Wetland Education Area that has an outdoor classroom and a 22 foot high observation tower that provides a panoramic view of the wetlands and its wide variety of wildlife. The park also boasts a free 18 hole disc golf course, a wind and solar learning center, a bridle trail, a two and a half acre dog park, an obstacle course, and a couple recreational play areas. Now we are going to explore communication. Scientists communicate or share the results of investigations. When scientists communicate clearly, others can repeat their investigations. They can compare their results with those of others and they can expand on one another's ideas. In these ways, scientific knowledge grows. Let's explore what ways scientists communicate. I bet you're gonna see a lot of ways you communicate too. When I was at Glacier Ridge, I noticed signs everywhere. And I know that scientists share information by making signs or posters, writing papers, and publishing articles in science journals. I used the sign in the park to help me understand the obstacle course that we were about to start. I also could see the warning about ticks in the park. Writing is only one way that scientists communicate. They can also communicate with photographs such as these. Photographs can provide evidence or proof of something happening. I'm sorry, I just got a text message in the middle of this video. I apologize to you, but I think scientists also share information via text. Oh my gosh, that's another example. Scientists can also share information by giving talks or speeches. Did you hear something? I think it was my phone. Oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed. Um, my mom had to call and tell me some information. Wait a minute. Scientists share information by making phone calls too. Now let's review some of the ways that scientists communicate information. Scientists communicate using signs and posters, giving talks or speeches, photographs, writing papers, publishing articles, texting, and calling. Oh, hey, um, you caught me in the middle of sending an email because I have to send some information to Mrs. Smathers, so you're gonna have to wait a minute. You just keep watching the video. <laughs> Looks like I need to add emailing to my list of ways that scientists communicate information with one another. You probably communicate in many of these ways too. When scientists communicate, they share their knowledge and it grows when it's communicated. Each science discovery leads to new questions and more is learned and new things are invented. You are going to practice clearly communicating the results of your investigation. Remember to communicate clearly so that others can repeat your investigation and compare their results with your results. That's all for me. Take care. Peace.